What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about The Conjuring. We'll be talking about Jeepers Creepers. We'll be talking about Halloween Ends. And we'll be talking about Megan. So just to kick it off with The Conjuring. The Conjuring 4 is in development with James Wan back to produce and David McCaldrick who had co-written the second film and solely worked on The Devil Made Me Do It I believe. He's going to return to pin this upcoming fourth film according to The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, now, this report also mentions that no deals are in place for Patrick Wilson or Vera Farmiga just yet, but they are expected to reprise their roles as Ed and Lorraine, Lorraine Warren. I mean, that's a given. They don't really have to be announced. We know the announcement will come. That's not to say, that, of course, something can't happen. But no release that, of course, is set, no plot details, and no other further cast details were mentioned in this report i'm looking forward to seeing where this series goes next and what cases tackled related to the warrens the devil made me do it i know wasn't everyone's cup of tea and i do find it to be the weakest but i mean it's still a pretty solid entry when comparing it to some of the other spinoff films patrick wilson i know just got done with another hit horror series or returning to another hit horror series because he directed and starred in the fifth entry of insidious insidious 5 the uh fear of the dark i think it's called so he's reprising his role there as josh lambert so he's staying busy by hopefully also coming back into this role of ed warren with vera farmiga hopefully because those two have some tremendous chemistry in this couple they have been betraying in this series now i will say this the conjuring still to me and many of you listening to this that are fans of this universe the main conjuring stories are the strongest aspects of this universe we know that it's been a success in general making over two billion dollars but the heart and soul of this series still to this day continues to be these movies centered on ed and lorraine warren and this case that they have or th that they are going to solve during the uh events of the movies that we've been getting you have some you have some decent annabelle movies the second and the third and you have the well yeah i guess that's it because i i think what other spinoff is there the curse of law your own i think was indeed once announced as a spinoff but then it was denied as being a spinoff um uh, the conjuring franchise again the heart of this is still those main movies so we'll see what this fourth movie can cook up for us just to jump into jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers 4 has reached a new low in my opinion because it trolls to highlight a single positive review by someone who had nothing but high praises for the film this review was shared over on the black hanger instagram page and i'll leave a link to it in the description uh this person in the video is saying that the scares worked really well what scares they said it was brilliant no it wasn't and they said this that he went on to praise the abysmal ending by acknowledging that it was a callback to the original when the creeper uh made dairy lose its eyes or made dairy lose his eyes sure yeah but at the end of the day also that wasn't the final shot of the movie uh the final shot of the movie was this horrendous looking blob like thing that was supposed to be the creeper the problem with this sharing of this is that the film has been panned to death with negative reviews it holds a zero percent on rotten tomatoes if i'm wrong correct me down below it has made four million dollars worldwide the director also blocks any negative feedback and this recent review being shared seems like just a middle finger honestly it seems like a giant middle finger in reality this movie again is not brilliant it is trash and it should be a crime to expect someone to watch this i'm curious how much this individual was paid just i mean i know you would be because the the theory floating around is that they were paid to, pra to praise this movie usually now from what i can recall in my experience when people from a studio are sharing reviews that are genuine they will at least tag the person who the account belongs to or the account of where this review came from or at least make some mention of who they are if all we know this could be someone that's literally working for black hanger and they decided to just upload it to their page again as a middle finger they're not sharing any negative feedback because the film again it's not brilliant it's fucking trash <laughs> just to jump into halloween ends halloween ends almost had a silver shamrock ending according to this new interview with david gordon green from movie maker when asked about Halloween 3 influence, some other further Halloween 3 influence that this movie could have had, Green admitted to an ending being written that took place at the Silver Shamrock Factory as it spits out which skeleton and jack-o'-lantern mask. Then it would have spit out a Michael Myers pass mask, <laughs> Michael Myers mask too. He said this was in every version of the script and they just never filmed it. Now, the only dilemma I see here is that introducing that last minute wouldn't be the most effective ending keeping that stuff at fan service level at this point is best and i'm not saying that the shamrock stuff 
couldn't have been used in this trilogy because it could have been it also just should should not be saved for a final sequence instead of you know getting it introduced prior to prior so it can bring closure to this reveal in the context of how the trilogy had already been going it will come out of left field more than anything instead of being something you can trace back during rewatches re but that's just me i'm all for anything coming out of left field but also that same thing that came out of left field i would love for you as a filmmaker to then tell me hey we actually were planting seeds of this throughout these other movies because no you weren't the only seeds being planted were not actual seeds they were easter eggs fan service moments related to people wearing shamrock masks things that you have seen in halloween 3 season of the witch there's been nothing else related to and i guess you could say yes michael being obsessed with his mask but other than that there's been no major clues to indicate that you would be going in that direction so i'm glad they didn't film that uh because it, it really doesn't sound like it would have been the most satisfying conclusion if anything again it raises more questions in a very dissatisfying way so just to end this video by talking about megan megan has been pushed up to the first week of january instead of releasing on the 13th it will now arrive on the 6th of january now the plot for megan follows gemma suddenly becoming the caretaker of her orphan eight-year-old niece katie who is played by violet mcgraw allison williams playing gemma 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 is unsure and unprepared to be a parent. Under intense pressure at work, Gemma decides to pair her Megan prototype with Katie in an attempt to resolve both problems, a decision that will have unimaginable consequences. Now, the trailer included a very uh, smart sequence of them to include of Megan dancing because myself and many others have, have clipped her together dancing to so many different songs. So this will surely cause more interest as the release date nears. And I think that trailer itself has gotten more views in a, in less than a month i think than the halloween ends trailer has actually gotten i think it's got like over 150 million views if i'm wrong i'm just wrong but i think i've i saw last time i checked it had like 150 million views so that's pretty impressive for an original ip to have viewership like that and then of course the intro or the inclusion of her dancing in the footage only made it better because people are clipping that stuff up and it's only going to build hype as the release date nears but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video